to this and we're just being exposed to it but yeah just mentality has to change perception has to change because shit's just gonna keep changing you know shit moves forward we gotta yeah get, we gotta adapt man so do you say that protests protests against gentrification are not justified or I mean, right now I'm taking a democracy class, so I yeah. feel that any sort of... All right, any, people any do have of, the freedom to protest, of course. Yeah, but I feel that any form of democracy is, is well, good I guess, for democracy, but for, for the area where I live, I don't, I don't see the point of... Yeah, basically to, what I was saying is... What I was trying to say is... Is there, a, is there an impending cause to protest against this? If people feel there is, they will, you know? I don't think there is, but that's that's my perception. Everyone else's perception is their own. They can do whatever they want. If they feel like going out to protest, that's their shit. Yeah. There's nothing we can do, man. It's like the like the way we feel towards people who vote for Ber- Bernie Sanders, there's nothing we could do. Like it's their it's their choice. They have the right to their choice. They have the right to their ideas. Fuck it. You know? Yeah. There's no need for violence, though. Oh, there's, there's no definitely need no need for vandalizing violence. Vandalizing fucking yeah. the shop, you know? Taking it to that extent just makes us look bad. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, in fact, I was thinking about bringing that guy in here. Who? The, the shop owner. Yeah. I was thinking about going to his shop and asking if he wanted to be part of, part of the podcast. Yeah, to, cool, just, to just get his opinion on this whole situation, you know? You can see because, how he feels. Because people are, are antagonizing this man, like. They're looking at him as kind of like an oppressor, you know? They're not really looking at him as a human being as much as they're looking at him as an oppressor, as, as this evil entity that's enacting uh, oppressive, oppressiveness among us, right? They, they, don't, they don't necessarily attribute him human traits. So I want to bring him in here and kind of get his opinion on this whole thing and, you know, just, just kind of like pick his brains on this whole shit. Do you have the article? Like, does it, does it have statements from, from protesters or anything? They're saying get out. They include the Fanboy Heights Union. They shattered the front window. Yep. Uh, they also put blue paint on his on his business. What does that represent? No, just like they, they ruined his shop. Oh shit, my bad. They they ruined his shop with like blue paint. <laughs> uh they broke uh one of one of his door one of his doors. Like the glass doors. DEFA, DEFA Boyle Heights and Union de Vecinos, which are part of a broader coalition called Boyle Heights Alliance Against Art Washing and Displacement, that has also protested numbers. Galleries. Art galleries. Yeah, they, they vandalize art galleries and they protested. This group of, of yeah, people? Yeah, uh, I had a video I wanted to show you. Uh, let me see. Uh, I think it's this one. That's also something that's pretty prominent among the left. All right, know? so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it right here so I could know more or less when to, you know, edit this video into the clip. So now. <laughs> people are like, what the fuck? Cause they're just regular people. Man. They're so confused, like, what the fuck is going on? Man, if the roles were reversed, if this was a a minority uh, business owner, and white people from the area were...